Hey, it's just so Trish and Addie. And guess what? We got our learning to read package just in. So this is an unop this is an unopening. This is an opening, a box opening of the first grade learning to read. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna open it up and we're gonna tell you about it and we're gonna tell you kind of prices and all of that. So here we go. So I have to just do a huge shout out because today is Friday and I was really shocked. I'd actually ordered a package from Christian Book distribu Distributors um, the day before Monday. I think Saturday, I believe Friday or Saturday. And then I put the order in for um, Christian Light Education on Monday. So I thought today's box was from the Christian Book Store. But it was actually from Christian Light. And I put, if that didn't just sound confusing... But I did the order Monday afternoon, and I almost spent the extra $15 to get it here in a quick, really hurriedly, because I thought it would be here like this coming up Wednesday, and it came today. So you never know. If they're not busy or slammed at, the, at Christian Light, you're going to get your stuff immediately. If they're slammed, you know, I've had it upwards take like three to four weeks. So you just, you never know. So everything in this box... Everything in this box cost me $155. So here we go. You haven't really seen this in a long time. Okay. I have owned pretty much everything in here, except I've given it away. I've got six kids. i got to stop doing that. If it doesn't work this season, I need to just learn to put it on a shelf and not think about it. Do you not play with that? Okay, so you get an order form. And this is nice. It gives you all of the things. And this is nice, too, I can tell you what we got all right so the very first thing at the top of the box is can you see them are the readers so these are the four learning to read readers this is not the they have the set where it's learning to read and then they have the reading this is not once the reading this is just learning to read so there's four we live we explore we learn we discover Five fifty each. Five dollars, five fifty each. They're five bucks. Um, so this is book one, and I'll do more in depth. So it's an easy reading. The underlined words are actually the words they teach to be sight words. And then by the time you get to the end, I thought it would be quieter in here. You see how it doesn't end? It gets more in depth reading. My kids have always loved the stories in these. All right, next are letter cards. I gave these away too, but I'm not gonna give them away again. You wanna see these? All right, so I love the boxes. The boxes are really sturdy. So here's what the letter cards look like. And on the back, they always have like a little rhyme that memorizes them. She's reading. That's a picture for the table. So they give them pictures in the very beginning to kind of help them move along. All right. So then the cards are a really nice thick. And see, you have, this is the long, short vowel. A, 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 acorn tree. You are a strong oak, I see. So um, sometimes I leave them like this. Sometimes I, I do several different things. I put them in um, like albums, four by six albums. So there's this one, and then the next are the phonics cards. The phonics cards come with the language arts, but I've always liked the phonics cards. I've actually missed the phonics cards. You get a list, they are numbered. You get a list to what the sounds they're teaching. And these are great for displaying little rules. So they're little rules, and this is doing the C rule for um, C O C A C U, and then in the back are examples, um, K E K I, learning how to do the double double consonant endings, the different sounds of E's. It's kind of 
nice having a new set, I'm not gonna lie. In a really awesome box. Let me get the books out. Learning to read comes with two teacher manuals, which is nice. This is the first half, second half. This just keeps it so it's not one huge book. They look familiar. They're about the same concept of a pace. A little bit different. The coloring is much different. You don't have nearly the cute little adorableness that Ace puts together in theirs. But for me, this is effective and it's enjoyable. Although we don't need to start at the beginning for her, I'm going to. Because when I first used this program, I thought I could start in the middle for my son since we've already had some training. And it took us pretty much 50 weeks to do 10 weeks worth of work. So at the end of it, I realized if I would have just started from the beginning, he would have understood the methods behind a lot of the stuff. We would have moved quickly. We would have built confidence. So after that, I will only start from the beginning, even if it's just we're going really quick. So we're really going to start this one today. It will go through your different lessons you're covering. You have a self check and then the test is actually considered one of the lessons. We'll, deal, we'll start with listening skills. This will be a breeze for her. You know, very enjoyable work. We're gonna go through lesson one and we'll probably do lesson two today. And yes, we're gonna do, actually this is going to be about story comprehension. And this will be about answering those questions. And then in the middle, might feel familiar. This is your test here. And a lot of times I'll just keep them in for learning to read. It's not a real big problem for me. The next is these are your star words. These are typically a sight style word. And then we're going to work on learning to read these. So everything to do in here and how to do it is in here. So in the table of contents, you're going to get like what's in each book that you're covering. It's gonna talk about all the parts. It's gonna explain what to do in the books. It's very thorough. It talks about the reasoning behind the writing. They have the outline of learning to read. So it shows you in each lesson what you're learning, what your picture card is, what your rhyme is, what the sight word is, what you're writing. And then it'll tell you like primary story. So the primer doesn't start until your second book. And so it gives you that full outline to what you're teaching. You okay? Yeah. Next is this little front page right here. So this is in the very beginning. And this shows you, if you're using their entire program, this is your learning to read in your Bible and your math. And it tells you on which day you should be doing what. But the nice part is, it's not until week 10 that you begin the language arts. And at language arts, they really begin emphasizing the program. So I'm gonna do a more in depth. I have some older videos that really cover this right over here, um, very in depth. They're my very first videos and take a look at those, but I will do some more in depth ones that you want. Um, then we got the language arts and I got all 10 books for the language arts. There is basic English on here, but most of it is all phonetic based, in depth phonetic based. So on the very last book, you're learning about apostrophes, you're learning PH and GH, you're learning suffixes, you're learning how you would do contractions, you would be adding suffixes, contractions again. So um, very in depth, absolutely in depth. and. We'll work through that. If this takes us into next year, this mom is okay with that. It's not going to be a problem. The part I really like too is that there's alternative tests in these. So if they didn't do well on the test, you can have them go back and study. And then in the very back, there is an alternative test. It's like right here is one of them that you can photocopy out. Um, there's not a lot of photocopying required. This is all you need and you're done. So we're actually going to get started on this today. You're showing them. We're going to get showing us. But so we got four readers, um, our language arts teacher's manual, 
our learning to read teacher's manual, our 10, now these, it doesn't matter. This is with six kids. No matter how hard you finally get everything set up so you'd have a quiet moment of the video, they're not going to be quiet. Just never. Remember, I got six. Um, these are, Christian Light Education, these are light units. They're not called paces, but there's only 10. There's not 12. ACE typically uses 12, so then you're going through them every three weeks. These are not, they like run like really funky like every three weeks. But um, with the language arts, it's actually every two weeks along with um, the learning to reads. And there's 10 of these also. And then we've got the letter, the letter cards and the phonics flashcards. 155 delivered. Not bad, and we're gonna get started. And I know by the time we're done with this, and we'll keep you up to date on how this is going, by the time we're done with this, she will be fully functioning mid second grade level. So even if this takes us into um, next year, it won't be a big deal. We'll totally, it will be fine, but I don't think it will. I think that she's far enough along that we'll probably finish this in May, which will end us right about our curriculum. So we'll end this at the year, and even if this is all our reading we do, it's more than enough because it's so advanced. So there you go. Or not advanced, it's so like packed in. So tell me what you think. Have you looked at this curriculum? Because there is not enough on this program for learning to read. For me, it's just probably when it comes to solid, this is the most solid reading curriculum. Not saying it's the only one, but I'm saying it is the most solid that I've found that works for me in my family, in my seasons. I wasn't excited, but after spending so much time, I feel like un... I wasn't chasing my tail, but at times it felt like I was lost as a parent teaching to read. And one of the, what does that look for? And one of the things I don't like doing is feeling like sometimes some of these curriculums, it feels like a mystery. Like all of a sudden we're doing this whole new level and it's like, how did we get here? And what I like is this does not do that. So I'll show you more. If you got questions, let me know and I'll try to get you very specific answers for this. It is a Mennonite based curriculum. It's not Amish, but it is Mennonite. The people dressed in it are very plain. They wear plain clothes, you know, like the Amish do. And with the head coverings, you'll see the girls there. Um, it has been adorable because in the past, my kids have used this curriculum completely. And we have Mennonites that live in our community. So my children are like, oh, look, look, it's the children from my books. So um, that's always fun. Oh, the other neat thing is um, on the learning to read on the very end, you get a, I think this is a reading list. The reading list you can actually cut out so we can tape it on the wall. Pretty good. All right. So there you go. I hope you enjoy. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a big here. They're wearing the plain clothes with the head coverings. And, um, yeah, see. beautiful drawings. The drawings are fantastic. I mean, you are not going to get a better quality picture. That's what I live with all the time. All right, I will talk to you later. Peace out.